And what has Alex ever done? Well, I'll tell you what they've done in, in, in 14 days. 14 days, they were raised to 17 million in the AL East, and they're sitting pretty with a half game lead. So I don't know if it's as much as he knows what he's doing, as much as he has a very stabilizing influence. And, and when you get a guy like that, and we've watched him all year stick up for his guys, too. You know, that's all he's done. Hey, he had a tough day, but he's a major league baseball player. Here come, he'll come back. And he's had some dark moments, too. I remember uh, it was probably three, four weeks ago, five weeks ago, maybe, where he said, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. We're just going to shower it off and go see the president. Uh, what, what am I going to tell you, right? He's, he's had a thing where, uh, I know you've had him on the show, and we had him well, through the morning show regularly, so you, you pull for him, right? And, yeah. and I think with all the whole statistical things and analytics and you name it, that what I like about getting to is Alex and Bob was after what happened with John Farrell, you know, the massive interviewing process, and then the guy basically Benedict Arnold it and went to Boston, and you know, the way it happened. I think that Alex put all that stuff in the back burner and said, I gotta just get someone I got a relationship with and I can trust, and yeah. it's real. And I, I remember giving him some care. Yeah, remember giving his first press conference, and he goes, hey, you guys, you, you guys, Elliot, you didn't say to Bob Elliot, you, you, you were talking, talking to you guys before you were looking at me as far as the candidate for that. So I, I, I like that he's had that style. Remember putting Brent Laurie Ryan in place last year? Like, he, he chooses from time to time the right guys that are being a little petulant, he'll do it. But I, I, I like that he's, he's what he is. Yeah. Right? But, it, but the questions were valid at the time. Six weeks ago or seven weeks ago, whenever the Jays was like, why well, can't they put it together? Whose fault is it? Who do you blame? Who do you shake? But he doesn't get annoyed, right? I mean, it's on him, right? He wears it, right? Up there, comes up with the answer like that. Doesn't you know do the JP retardy uh, eighth year of a five year plan or whatever crap like that? You know, somebody else's fault, the injuries. But he should be thanking Alex Anthopoulos. There's no one else taking a, a you know hiring John Gibbons again. And uh, Alex saw something in Gibbons, uh, and you know it provided him with a great great team and I guess it's no surprise that the results follow as well so it's good to see and uh, he's a very likable guy so fans are cheering for him as they are this uh, team that's just on fire now and leading the AL East. Yeah they are half a game thanks to the Yankees lost yesterday in uh, Cleveland they lost 2-1 can't put it together can't hit can't run can't steal can't do anything and it's all perfect timing as your Toronto Blue Jays have won now won 10 in a row they beat the Oakland Athletics yesterday 10-3. Don't get to 12:30 p.m. Sports Center 590 the fan we have it here uh, we gave it 12. You can also watch it on the Sportsnet television, 615. PGA Championship, Whistling Straits. That gets underway. Ian Lane will join us a little later on in the program, and we'll talk about some of the favorites and some of the storylines next. Sportsnet 590. Down on Toronto Sports.